Ricky the Junk Man back at you again for another video. So uh, I'm out here in rural uh, Missouri, out here doing a flea market. What I do is, is I do the uh, the house cleanouts and the storage cleanouts, and I wind up getting all this stuff. And this is just a little panoram of all the stuff. It's actually really early in the morning right now, so there's no customers out here just yet. But it's along the main strip and a highway, so a lot of people uh, can get out of here. I've had people ask me before on my videos, how do I get rid of all my smalls? Well, this is how you get rid of the smalls. I like to do all weekend long flea markets uh, where you give yourself a chance. I basically come out here and camp. Uh, good thing about this flea market demographically is there's not a lot of thrift stores. There's very few auctions. There's not many estate sales. Um, so, and along these highways, there's always a lot of antique stores. So the antique dealers come by here and they shop with you. Um, and I frequent the same flea market all the time so that I build up a uh, customer base. But the long and short is, is you clean out your storage units, you clean out your houses, you keep all the stuff, you back end on the stuff, and I spend a day or two selling at regular retail price, and then with all this stuff out here, I start selling everything for a dollar each. <laughs> So it works out pretty good like that. People are happy um, and I just burn it out. And at the end, I find somebody who wants to uh, just buy the rest of it out for two or three dollars a box or something like that. So this is how you get rid of your smalls. It's very effective way to do it. Um, and like I say, the best way is find a flea market where you can sell for four or five days. If you can get away from the wife and kids or bring the wife and kids wife and kids along with you, bring the dog. It's a lot of fun. There's good camaraderie. Um, so I did set up day. I did almost $300 in just set up day yesterday. So I've still got four days to go and the trucks are running down the street. So that's long and short. This is how you get rid of your small. You can bring furniture out here also, which I normally do, but I didn't in this case. So um, it's usually worth a couple thousand bucks. So uh, there you have it. Frankie the Junk Man advice. <laughs> All right. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Frankie the Junk Man, and I am out.